welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, and by the title of this video, this is gonna be a very, very exciting video. Oh my gosh, I have been waiting to film this for you. I have been waiting for my last box of candles to come into the mail. These are all from Wishes Candle Co., which is a Disney-inspired candle company. And if you guys don't know about Wishes Candle Co., I will link their website in the description below. I am in love with their candles. Before them, I was only purchasing candles from Bath & Body Works and small local boutiques, which I still do, but these are so good. I don't know what makes them so good. I think maybe because they are all soy wax, which I believe. I'm pretty sure they're all 100% soy wax. And if you guys don't know, soy wax candles, they burn a little bit longer and they smell a little bit stronger. Now, all of Wishes Candle Co. scents are not very strong. Um, some of them are a little more subtle. So if you don't like very strong candles, but you do want a nice little subtle something to freshen up the home, they definitely have those options. And if you want a power packed candle who is just gonna punch you in the face with flavor and scents, then these are also for you. So I'm here today with 11 candles, 11 candles. Thank you to Afterpay because you can like buy stuff on their site and then do the after pay and then only pay, you know, like 20 bucks a week for your candles. And then it doesn't make you feel so bad about spending money. Yay. So I love that they offer after pay. This video is in no way sponsored by Wishes Candle Co. I am not affiliated with Wishes Candle Co. They don't know anything about this video. I purchased these all with my very own money. Um, I did use a discount code from another Disney YouTuber, which is Disney Kitty. Uh, I can't remember how much it saved me. I want to think, I want to say it maybe saved me 10% off of my orders. Um, but yeah, so Disney Kitty, she is awesome. You guys should totally check out her channel. And if you want to order some, she has her coupon code available. Um, I'm sorry. I keep doing that. I was eating tater chips all ago and I definitely have a chip stuck in my gum right here. It hurts so bad. Okay. So what we're gonna be doing today, I'm gonna be smelling every single one of these candles, probably more than once, and we're gonna guess what flavor they are. Now, I did glance at the flavors when I purchased the candles. They do not say the flavors on the actual candle jars. Uh, this bad boy right here does say the flavor on the candle jar. I noticed that as soon as I opened the package, but when I opened this package, it was definitely like over a week ago, so I have not looked at that since, so I have no idea what that is. Uh, there are a few that I have burned multiple times, and I do know kind of the gist of what's inside of them, but the others, some of them are new. I, I have no idea. I haven't smelled them all. I'm very, very excited. I'm hoping I'm going to find like a brand new favorite candle today. Um, I already have a favorite candle, and it's right here. I don't know exactly all the flavors that are in this, but I do know it's somewhat um, flavored, you know, flavored after its name. So yeah, we're basically, we're gonna review these candles. We're gonna talk about these candles. We're gonna smell these candles. And what I'm gonna do is I have some little paper here and I'm gonna write down what scents I think are in each candle, lay it in front of its candle. Then we're gonna pull up the um, Wishes Candle Co. website, and we're gonna see how close I was to being right. So for starters, when you get your Wishes Candle Co. order in the mail, you're gonna get these adorable little stickers. God, you probably can't even see that. Let's try. Nope, okay, well I'm gonna tell you about it. There is a Rapunzel's Tower, a Dole Whip, the Up House, Rapunzel's Sun, uh, a princess crown, a unicorn, a dapper Dan, and then it says order candles. So like a cute little memento, and then you got another little sticker that says Wishless, Wishes Candle Co. I Heart Candles, um, a little magic in every candle. And then it came with a Mexico Mexican pavilion and a Mexico greetings card for this bad boy right here, which this candle is named Mexico. 
So, that is what came in my box. They package everything very well with lots of packing confettis and the little packing uh, peanuts and they're pink, which makes it super cute. Okay, all of them are themed to Disney, something related with Disney and we'll talk about the themes as we go down through the candles. And each one has a Disney trading pin inside. So that is super fun. They're not like over the top, whoop de do any kind of pins that you're gonna just wanna like die over. I have gotten some in that I'm like, oh my God, I've always wanted this pin. So, but they're not huge, they're not jumbo pins. They're like the miniature pins that I would say are about, you know, the size of a quarter um, inside of each and every one of them. I love them so, so much. And let's get started. Okay, shall we? Let's start with candle number one. The flavors are on here. I'm not going to read them. I'm gonna cover them with my hand. This one is called Tiki Serenade. And if you guys can see the flavors, that is fine. I can't see what I'm showing you. So this is what the candle looks like. It is a beautiful, um, I would say, pretty fluorescent pink shade. And then on the inside, it has a minty green glitter. So, oh, I can already smell it. Uh, the, the, all the candles have glitter in the top. Some are more bright colored glitters and some are darker. Um, so let's sniff it. So it's called Tiki Serenade. It is themed from the Enchanted Tiki Room. Oh goodness, it smells good. It's definitely a lighter scent. Very fresh smelling, very clean, very floral. Hmm, but a little tropical. So let me start writing some of my guesses. Um, so Tiki Room, um, I'm gonna guess some maybe like some tropical flowers. Like Plumeria, let's write Plumeria. And for those of you who don't know what a Plumeria flower is, you should totally Google it. They're beautiful and they smell so good. They're um, like one of the Hawaiian flowers. I'm gonna guess, oh my gosh, I don't know. Got like a very green or greenery scent to it but flowers something something that smells so similar to something I've smelled before maybe like some laundry detergent that I've had you know like the Hawaiian flavored I should have got some coffee beans to clear my nasal palate Joke's on me for that. We don't even drink coffee. Okay. Let's say Plumeria, uh, hibiscus. That's another Hawaiian flower. And I'm just gonna write, I don't wanna write laundry detergent. Obviously that's not gonna be a scent. God, it smells so good, you guys. I'm gonna put fruits and I'm just gonna put clean. Okay, so that is Tiki Serenade and oh, it smells really good. It's definitely a little bit of one of the lighter scents I've ever smelled from them. So this would be a great candle to burn in like a smaller room. Um, so let's lay our guests in front of it. So that one we put Plumeria, Hibiscus, Fruits and clean. It just smells clean to me. So all the rest of the candles do not have what it is listed on the actual thing. This one is called A Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow, which we definitely need right now. I'm so ready for A Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow. It is not even funny. I don't want to smell it yet. So this one, oh, I can already smell it. Okay, this one has a beautiful royal blue glitter. Whoa, this one packs a punch. This is a strong one. Okay. Right already off the rip, I'm getting very citrus. I'm gonna I'm gonna say citrus, I'm gonna put lemon, or I'm getting some orange, um, like maybe some mandarin orange, maybe even getting a little bit of a pineapple. So this one is pretty pretty potent. Whew, smells great. Cannot wait to burn this one. I have been, y'all, not burning these candles and it has been killing me just to film this video for y'all. 
<laughs> okay, so for the A Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow, I did citrus, lemon, orange, mandarin, and pineapple. So our votes are locked in and let's move to the next candle. So this is the hard worker. Uh, it says ambitious, humble, and persistent. And this is themed after our beautiful princess Tiana. And let's hop her open. It has a really pretty light green glitter that you're not gonna be able to see because it's the same color of the candle. Whoa, this one is strong. It's good. I've never smelled this one, I really like it. Okay, don't laugh, but I'm gonna write margarita. It smells like a margarita in a margarita. I'm gonna also just put lime. It smells a little um, like pine saw. Um, pine saw the lemon. That's about all I got for that one. Mmm. That is a that smells good. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So for the hard worker, we've got margarita, lime, and lemon pine salt. <laughs> okay. And you know, I'm also kind of just being realistic with you guys. Like you all know what a margarita smells like and you know what lemon pine salt smells like. And I want you guys to, I know you have to order these being blind and you don't know what they smell like till they come in. So I'm trying to test taste or smell taste all of these for you, hoping that if I can refer them to something that you've smelled before in life, that you, you know, might be like, oh, that I love that smell. I'm gonna love that candle. Okay, so this one is Greetings from Mexico. This one's named after the Mexican Pavilion in Epcot. And it has a really beautiful purple glitter on top. And let's, oh, I smell it. Hmm. This one's gonna be a tough one. Okay. I'm getting like very clean, very clean. Uh, crisp is a good word. It's crisp. It is um, maybe a, a hint of lime. It's not the strongest Wishes Candle Co. candle I've ever smelled, but it's not the lightest. Still packs a punch. Oh man, I don't even know. Crisp, lime. I'm not sure. All right, we're just gonna leave it at that. I don't really have any other guesses. That's just kind of what it smells like. It's like a really nice, clean, but little, little fruity, little fruity aftertaste there and I definitely I like it it's not my favorite out of all that I have um, sniff tasted so far but it's I like it I love it okay this one is I love the color of this one uh, life's bare necessities which is what we need to be focusing on right now people the bare necessities in life staying at home Try not to run out to the nail salons as soon as they have opened. Let's just stay calm. Um, so yeah, this one is themed from the Jungle Book, which is such an adorable movie. The glitter is the same color as the candle. It's that beautiful, um, like aquamarine blue. Oh my God, this smells so good. Y'all, I think I just found my favorite candle scent in the world. And I have no idea what it smells like. Like a melon. This smells like a melon. Uh, let's put just the word melon. Let's put honeydew melon. Uh, watermelon. It's very sweet. It's just very melon smelling. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite so far, hands down. Oh man, this smells so good. I'm burning this as soon as this video is over. All right, so for last bare necessities, we have melon, honeydew melon, watermelon, and sweet. Locking the vote in now. Let's keep rolling. So this next one is very aesthetically pleasing. It is called Briar Rose. It is half pink, half blue. Make it pink, make it blue. 
from our beautiful Princess Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. And the top just has a very, very baby pink glitter that it did get tousled around in the mail a bit. It didn't really stick down to the wax very good, but we'll already know what this is. This is rose. I mean, the candle is called Briar Rose and it just screams the rose smell. Yeah, I don't even think it's anything else. Just roses. It smells like a fresh bouquet of roses. This is a really nice, very good and clean smell, you know? Like if you like a good clean smell, then that's, that's a good one for you. Definitely not one of my favorite, but I like it. It's gonna go really well in our kitchen. I like for our kitchen to smell really clean. Okay, this one is picture worthy or hashtag picture worthy pink, which is named after one of the walls in Epcot, I do believe. Comment below if I'm wrong on that, but that's what I think. And the inside has this pretty baby pink glitter. Can't really see it. Oh, I smell it. Whoa, I might like this one just as much as I like Bare Necessities. Okay. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to think. It smells like strawberries, but it doesn't smell like really strong strawberries. It's like creamy, sweet strawberries. It smells like strawberries and whipped cream. Strawberries. Mmm, this one's great. Whipped cream. <laughs> Question mark. I don't think it sounds like anything else. Oh, this one's like heaven in a jar. Y'all have to smell this one and the bare necessity one. I don't, the great big beautiful tomorrow one was pretty good too. I mean, I did like the Tiana one, like the smell of margarita. I mean, my all time like choice drink is tequila. So I love the margarita smell. It definitely makes me feel very tropical vibes. Um, okay, so we're locking it in at strawberries and some cream, some whipped cream, because it's like strawberries, but then it's got some sort of sweet, like vanilla -y flavor to like mute it down just a bit. Okay, this next one has always been my all-time favorite. Um, spoiler alert, I kind of already know what the flavoring is on this one. Not necessarily, I don't know everything, um, but, and the, the name is Unbirthday Cake and it has sprinkles all in the jar, all the way around, full 360, bottom and all. Um, it is themed after Alice in Wonderland. A very, very young birthday to you, to you. Oh, mm, mm, I love it, <laughs> it smells so good. And it has a really pretty blue glitter for Alice. And I mean, it's basically birthday cake. It's called the unbirthday cake candle. So we're just gonna put vanilla birthday cake. We're gonna put vanilla. We're gonna put birthday cake. Um, and we're gonna put sprinkles because there are real sprinkles in here and I think they add to the flavor. Mm, that one smells great. But it's like a nice, a nice crispy birthday cake. You know, it's not like too sweet smelling. It's sweet smelling, but it's not like over the top. Okay, so we're locking that one in. This is a little bit easier than I thought. I thought this was gonna be so hard. We may get hard. Um, okay, oh, I'm, over. I'm jumping the gun here. Sorry, I'm cutting my ears off too, by the way. In order to get like the backdrop, me, the candles, the table, and a little bit of the ears in, we just had to do it. we just had to do it. Because if I put you guys too far away, you can't see me and you can't see the candles. Okay, so this one is A Wonderful Thought, which I believe is from Peter Pan. Um, I really should have done my research on that, but I was scared to do research on these candles because I didn't want to accidentally see the scent. So I was like, no, we're just gonna, we're just gonna guess. Okay, and the green glitter is the same color as the candle, so you can't really see it, but it is beautiful. Oh, this one smells great. I think I've had this one before. Yeah, I think I got this one in my magic mail like a month or so ago. Mmm, okay, but I don't know what the scent is. All right, I'm gonna say it smells like Sprite. It literally smells like a Sprite that you would drink. It even has that like fizziness. It makes your nose fizz when you, when you sniff it. Okay, so we're gonna put Sprite, which in Sprite there is lemon, and lime, and it just smells fizzy, so I'm gonna write fizzy. So 
So I've, yeah, because I don't really have any other guesses. Oh, y'all, that one smells great. I'm also going to, at the end of this video, give you guys my top contenders. And I'm going to kind of put them into groups. Okay, let's keep, oh, we're going to walk in our boat. No more writing. Okay, next we have Happiness in Bloom, which is the Flower and Garden Festival themed one. And they also have the Violet Lemonade one, which I have smelled. It smells just like Violet Lemonade. I highly recommend to order that one as well. Oh, I didn't show you guys the glitter. It's got like a really pretty minty green glitter. Okay, I'm not a big fan. Oh, it's strong. Kind of smells. Definitely smells clean, like a, like a cotton. It's got a scent that I'm not a fan of. Something floral. It kind of smells like it's, it's, I'm just gonna write floral, and but I'm gonna, I'm gonna also write funeral home. And I hate to be morbid about it, but it just sort of reminds me of a funeral home. I mean, it's very green. It even has like a grassy smell. So let's like write grass, uh, maybe like fresh, some fresh leaves, like some, oh, what's, what's some leaves? What are the leaves? There's, there's like rosemary and sage and it's not those. And then there's like, maybe, maybe like a basil. I'm gonna just put some basil. Okay. So we've got clean cotton floral funeral home grass fresh basil i don't really know i can't i don't really have any other guesses because it smells very fresh and crisp so that's why i put fresh basil because it does smell like a fresh leafy green scent which i do like that part of it but then it's the floral that's coming through that's giving me the funeral home vibes but if you love um like that scent of like a fresh bouquet of flowers this is for you this is a great candle for you i don't know there's just something about that scent that doesn't vibe well with me my mom would probably really like this one because she tends to like those types of really clean crisp fresh scents and i i tend to like more like the sweet you know like fruity or bake baker baked goods those kinds of scents um okay yeah so we've locked that one in we are on to our final candle as far as me guessing what the scents are so this one is big top souvenirs which is from its uh, area in fantasy land and it's themed after dumbo and oh nope need to show you the glitter it has got a beautiful fuchsia pink glitter sometimes these come like half pink half blue sometimes they come more blue sometimes they come more pink it's kind of a surprise this one looks a little bit of like a lilac purple which i love and it smells great more light, a little more on the lighter end, kind of like the Tiki Serenade. Judging by the name, Big Top Souvenirs, every time I'm in that store, I get cotton candy, and this smells like cotton candy. Okay, cotton candy. I don't have any other guesses. It's literally what it smells like. All right, I'm locking it in. I think it's cotton candy. I'm, I'm like 98% positive that that's what that is. I feel like that's a good scent that they would use for that. It just happens to be ironic that that's what I buy every time I'm at the Big Top Souvenirs shop. Um, so yeah, all right. We, let me set all my extra paper to the side. Let's pull up the Wishes Candle Co. website and let's see if I was right or wrong. Okay, what do we have here first? Tiki Serenade. Let me find Tiki Serenade. I'm seeing a lot of the other ones. Where are you? Oh, they have a lot of, uh, oh, they have a few new ones. Savannah Sunrise, Africa. Ooh. Okay. Where are you? I hope Tiki Serenade, oh, Tiki Serenade, okay. I said Plumeria, Hibiscus, Fruits, and Clean, and it is Juicy Fruits, so I got the fruit one right. Oh, oh, Hibiscus, I got that right too. Coconut and Sugar, okay. Well, I got two, um, two little, 
two little ticks on that one. So we'll just put a little, put a little checks by hibiscus and fruits. Good job, me. We'll pat on the back. I actually got something right. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the great big beautiful tomorrow. Let's see here. Okay, this one is citrus fruits, sugar, and vanilla. And I guessed citrus, lemon, orange, mandarin, and pineapple. So basically all of the citrus fruits besides lime or lemon. Oh, I even put lemon on here. No, I didn't guess lime. Okay, so I got that right, but I did not guess sugar and vanilla because I don't really smell sugar and vanilla in that. So I'm going to just go ahead and give myself a thumbs up on that one because I feel like that's what's in that. <laughs> There's not a lot of sugar in that one. Okay, so the next one is the hard worker, which is our Tiana themed candles. So let's go to the themed candles, which I have. They're towards the bottom of page one. Okay. Tiana is at the top of page two, and I said margarita, lime, and lemon pine saw, and it is bright lemon. Oh, I, I got that right. Orange and terrapins. I don't really know what a terrapin is. Maybe terrapins smell like margarita, but I definitely got the uh, lime part right. So, I meant not lime, the lemon part right. So, I'm going to give myself a little thumbs up on the lemon part. Okay, and moving right along to Mexico, let's get back to page one here. I believe that's where Mexico is. Okay, I guessed crisp and lime, and uh oh, there's no. What does it say? Oh, here we go. Lime, sea salt, tequila, and sugar. Okay, so I guess the crispiness is maybe like the, the sea salt. And then I did guess the lime and it says tequila, which I actually thought the tequila one was more, um, more like with the Tiana one. Um, okay, so the next one is my favorite, which is Life's Bare Necessities. Look for the bare necessities the simple necessities. okay so i guessed melon honeydew watermelon and just sweet and whoa am i wrong okay creamy vanilla coconut peach strawberry pineapple and orange we're gonna smell this again creamy vanilla coconut i don't smell any vanilla i don't smell any coconut Maybe a little bit of peach. No strawberry for me. No pineapple and no orange. I really just smell melon. I'm gonna say, for those of you at home, this smells like honeydew melon, like a very strong honeydew melon. Um, I completely bombed that one. So, I mean, I guess it smells sweet. I can give myself a check mark because it does have creamy vanilla in it and that is sweet, so I'm shocked by that because I was so dead on that this was a melon scent. Okay, and for Briar Rose, I'm going to say that I'm going to cry if I'm wrong because I guessed rose and it is, okay, it is rose, geranium, and violet. So, we can give ourselves a little check mark for the rose, but it also has geranium and violet in it. Very clean and crisp here. Um, this next one, picture worthy pink. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Oh, there's so many on here that I haven't tried. Oh my God. It literally, I guess strawberries and whipped cream and it's literally strawberries and cream. I got the whole thing right. Yay. Oh my God. I'm so proud of myself. Let me smell it again since it was one of my favorites. Okay, hold on. Okay. Sorry, little um, 
picture worthy pink. Okay, so moving right along to unbirthday cake. This one, where are you? Must be on page number two. There are so many on here. I think they added some. I'm gonna have to go through and like look at them again because there's more. There is literally more guys. And some are sold out. That's how popular they are. Okay, unbirthday cake, I guess vanilla, birthday cake, and sprinkles. And it is birthday cake and vanilla. So I would say I got that one right too. Woo! I got those two right, winner winners. <laughs> Um, okay, let's keep moving to A Wonderful Thought. I think I saw this one on page one. Okay, I guess Sprite Lemon Lime and it smells fizzy. And it is lemon lime with cotton candy. So we got the lemon and the lime and the Sprite part pretty much right because that is what Sprite is. But I don't know about that cotton candy. I don't, maybe I do smell a little something sweet. I don't know, it smells great. It's it's really, really good one. Okay, uh, this one, the happiness in bloom. I said clean cotton, floral, funeral home, grass, and fresh basil. And it is not any of those. Honeysuckle, guacic wood, neroli, jasmine, and ozone. sorry. I'm sorry, wishes. I love you guys, but that's just not the scent for my nose. I know it is for someone out there. Um, okay, so we got that one all wrong. And then big top souvenirs. Oh, look, it has like a little bit of a blue spot in the bottom. That's funny. Maybe when it burns, it's going to like turn more blue. So let's see here. Big top, big top. Where are you? Okay, Big Top Souvenirs. I said cotton candy. Verdict shows it is cotton candy and strawberry with French vanilla. Which I do maybe smell a little bit of the strawberry now, but I'm still smelling mostly cotton candy. So we got that. We'll check on that one. All right, guys. So all in all, I didn't do terrible. There there was a few questionable moments. So now I want to pair these bad boys off in my favorites and to my non-favorites. So I'm gonna have to go with my absolute favorite is going to be the Bare Necessities. And then my second favorite is gonna be Picture Worthy Pink. Uh, my third favorite is the Unbirthday Cake. My fourth favorite is a great big beautiful tomorrow. I'm gonna turn these to me. Uh, my fifth favorite is a wonderful thought. Okay, this is where it's getting tough because some of these I've never smelled. I do like that one. Let's smell Tiki Serenade. Oh, that one smells pretty good though. Um, okay. Obviously, Happiness in Bloom is at the end with Briar Rose. They both smell very fresh and um, clean, and I'm not that type of a gal on scents. So, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna throw Tiki Serenade and the Hard Worker, and then Big Top Souvenirs, and then Mexico. Briar Rose and Happiness and Bloom. So this is my favorite from favorite to least favorite. So we've got Life's Fair Necessities, Picture Worthy Pink, yeah. Uh, the Unbirthday Cake Candle, sprinkles in it, very good birthday present right there. A Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow. Oh, let's talk about the what was in them. So this one to me smelled like Honeydew Melon. This one smelled like whipped, strawberries and whipped cream, which is what it is. This one smells like birthday cake, yummy. Uh, this one smells like um, oranges and very mandarin, very orangey, very crisp, and it's super duper good. 
Um, this one smells like Sprite, very fizzy and bubbly and super, super pleasing to the nostrils. Uh, Tiki Serenade definitely smells like a juicy, fruity flower, which I really like. Definitely gives me summer vibes. And then the Hard Worker, this 100% smells like a margarita through and through. So if margaritas are for you and you just want like a nice summer scent, the Hard Worker is great. Big Top Souvenirs smells just like cotton candy with a little bit of a strawberry hint now that they've said it. Mexico, I don't know how to describe this scent to you other than it smells good. It says it has tequila, lime, and I forget what else was in it. Um, but it definitely, I'm smelling the tequila and the lime now that they say that, along with like a little bit of a sweet, clean scent to it. So I do, I do actually like this. I hate that it's so far down here on the list because they, they're all not bad. I'm gonna burn them all and I, I truly love them all. These are just favorites from top to bottom. Briar Rose, I still really like Briar Rose. I like to burn this in um, like bathrooms and the kitchen to give it that nice, clean, clean scent. I just feel like kitchen and bathrooms are supposed to be super clean smelling um, and super clean in general. Um, and then last but not least, which I, I'm gonna burn it and maybe my opinion will change but Happiness in Bloom, um, it's it's adorable, and I love that it's Flower and Garden Festival themed, but um, yeah, definitely just not my favorite scent. I'm not much of like a super duper florally type of gal. So yeah, that is my favorite from, I'm coming on around, from start all the way down to finish. And I did want to just share with you guys some of the glitters up close because they're so pretty. Like, look how glittery that is. This is what the jars look like. And then they kind of, you know, just give you, like, safety hazards. And we hope you enjoy your treasure hunt. Always be sure to let the silver prize become fully visible and put out the flame before removal just for safety purposes. And, yeah, so they're super fun. They're super pretty. Um, I'll just show you a few more glitters here and all these sprinkles. Are those not to die for? They're just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the Tiki Serenade has like a really pretty color combo because it's got like the baby pink in color with the mint green label and then it's sort of got the mint green glitter lightly dusted so that one's pretty. Yeah, so these are all of... <laughs> These are all of my Wishes Candle Co. candles. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We're going to do so many fun things here and I want you guys to all be a part of it. And I hope you guys are staying super safe in the world and have a very magical day wherever you are and whatever you are doing. I will see you in the next one. Bye.